hello everyone welcome back to another video i want to talk about a little topic that we're all kind of familiar about and it's art block lately i've been going through this phase in my life where i'm intensely working on art and just growing my artistic voice and while i'm doing that i'm also going through this cycle where i feel unmotivated discouraged and overall disappointed and mostly I am disappointed and discouraged by my own creativity. Some artists might call this art block, which I would agree, but it's also um, a time where I need to reflect on my own mental health and if what I'm doing is making me happy. Sometimes I feel uninspired and tired of putting myself out there only to be rejected. When I have these quote unquote bad art days, it feels like the ideas I have in my head won't translate on paper. It's a familiar cycle and I'm sure a lot of creative people feel this way sometimes, but it's a little weird for me to talk about this because I just feel like I'm not an expert even on my own feelings, so if it just feels weird, I guess, talking about other people, even though I've watched many videos and I've read a lot about people kind of feeling the same way I do. There's ways that I've learned in the past few months that has helped me get over this art block or art stump, if you want to call it that. And one of those ways is just enjoying the little things like watching nature videos or plant videos, watching people hand make clothing. I've really been enjoying watching that or just watching people make handmade um, books like book binding videos, plant hauls, um, videos that artists make that I really enjoy watching their process. Doing things like this helps me feel like I can get back into creating again because I feel find this new motivation seeing other people find the motivation to get up every day and do the things that they love. So I take a deep breath and I tell myself, it's time to water your own grass and take care of yourself. Um, I spend 48 hours of my time every week taking care of others and sometimes it's hard for me to remind myself to take care of me. And I feel like my art block comes from being so exhausted from work and just not taking care of myself, not enjoying the things that I used to love doing because I just don't have the time to do them that I kind of become stagnant. I don't do the things I enjoy and then I feel like I can't get back into them. I know it's a weird concept and it might not make a lot of sense, but I feel like I'm not the only one out there that feels that way. And if I'm not, just please let me know so I'm not crazy. <laughs> Sometimes when I feel like I'm in a creative slump, I will crochet, I'll play video games, or I'll just watch TV, something that makes me laugh that I enjoy doing. Um, and I try to remind myself that I'm not wasting my time doing these things. I think for us in a little bit older generation, we've been told like playing video games, watching TV, doing that kind of stuff is like a waste of time. But it's not a waste of time to take care of yourself and it's not a waste of time to enjoy the things that 
you enjoy you know what i mean like it's not a waste of time to be happy it's not a waste of time to enjoy something that makes you laugh for this piece of art i didn't focus on trying to be fast i wasn't focusing on trying to be perfect i just want to take my time and see what i was capable of Let me know what you do when you feel like you're in a creative stump and do you have a method of painting or something that you're proud of that you do that kind of gets you out of these quote unquote bad art days or just bad days in general. Let me know if you have tried any other methods of renewing your creativity and maybe I'll give them a try when I feel like I need an extra boost of motivation. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, take care.